hello guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will see how we can implement propeller ads in wordpress website in other terms we can say how we can monetize a wordpress websites from propeller ads so wordpress is basically a content management system or it's a website builder where you don't need any kind of coding knowledge you just have to install it and install plugin and with the help of few clicks only you will be able to make a great website so very soon i am going to start a series on a wordpress tutorial where i will show from scratch how you can build a website in wordpress so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload those videos you will get a notifications immediately so first thing you will have to sign up in propeller ads and I have already discussed how we can uh, sign up. It's very easy. You have to click on this and uh, you have to sign up under publisher's account. And once you complete the sign up process, you have to log in it. And once you log in, the first thing you will have to add your site to Propeller Ads. For that, go to sites, click on add site, and then here give your domain name. So this is my domain name. I'll have to paste it here and click on add site so now we have to verify this website so copy this code here go to your wordpress dashboard if you have already a website then you know how to log in and uh, in dashboard search for an option called appearance and search for a area called editor here you can click on i understand it was just an informations or warning saying that we should not edit any actual coding from here but i will explain exactly what we need to do here here on right hand side you will see a bunch of files from here you'll have to search for theme header and click on that once you click on that you will have to search for a section called header so here we can see we have a head here and the closing tag of this head so whatever code you have copied it from here you will have to paste it just above the header and click on update file so file is edited successfully once you done with this go back to your propeller ads and here click on verify so you should wait at least for uh, two to three minutes and then click on verify so that whatever new changes has been done it will come into live so i will try clicking on verify so the verification has been completed that's why we didn't get any error and these are the ad format that we can use in wordpress so in wordpress we usually use plugins so we will go back to our wordpress uh, site and install the plugin for propeller ads now go to plugins and then click on add new under add new here click on search plugin and type propeller p r o p e l l e r make sure the spelling is correct and hit enter and the first plugin that appears here propeller ads official plugin just click on install now and click on activate so now the propeller ads plugin is activated and in left hand side you will be able to see a option called propeller ads and here click on it so here you can see some warning do you have a propeller ads publisher account if not registers one so we already have that then propeller ads plugin error api token is missing fix this so this we will do it propeller ads plugin warning all ads direction as disabled so we will also fix this now so first thing we'll have to click on connect to propeller ads ssp just click on it so basically these steps we are doing the verification or the making the connectivity between the wordpress and the propeller ads so now verification is completed and we can see few more options has been enabled here so first thing general membership disable ads for logged in users so you can check on that if you have a login system is already present for your website if not then uh, you can select any of these format or you can select all of them so i will just select all of them and uh, click on save changes so in this drop down you can see various zones that you have created propeller ads so it will not only 
show for the websites that you have just added it will also show the ad formats for all the websites that you have verified with propeller ads so now select uh, all of these or uh, any one of these based on your requirement and click on save changes so once you click on save changes the work is done from uh, wordpress uh, dashboard sites and now you can actually visit to your websites so this is my websites and uh, i don't have much thing here but uh, now let me refresh it and see if i am able to see those ads so let's wait for it it may happen that it will take some uh, 10 to 15 minutes but uh, sometimes it will comes very fast so here you can see one ad format that is push notification has come and this is because of the propeller ads now user can deny or allow here and whatever notification that is being shown here you will be getting paid from propeller ads so this was the first format i will just click on deny here and now we can see the second ad format that is interstitial ad format and this is the mobile interstitial also so in case of uh, any user who are visiting to your website through mobile then they will be able to see this advertisement and for this advertisement you will get money from propeller ads now let me just uh, close it and now let me just click anywhere and here we can see that another tab has opened and uh, advertisement is coming here so for this as well propeller ads will give you money so now it's your decisions whether you should uh, use all of them or you can use any one of them so for my websites i don't want uh, on click or pop under ads but uh, this is the most revenue generated ad format along with the push notification so for now i will just disable on click pop unders and save changes so that is how you can implement propeller ads in your wordpress websites now let's go back to the propeller ads dashboard and uh, we will go to the profile settings under profile settings we will be able to set our payment method under this click on payment methods and uh, here we can set your minimum withdrawal amount so there is a very good thing happened for propeller ads that is the minimum balance they have changed it to five dollar initially it was hundred dollar so it's a good sign you can uh, keep it as five dollar or you can increase this as well so i will just keep it as five dollar and then you will have to click on save now down you'll have to select a payment method the payment method can be done by any of this method but uh, i have selected paypal usd because i already have a paypal account here and here you can see it is approved so i'm not going to do anything from here now the payment period here you will have to select weekly or monthly so settings will be applied on the next day by est so if you are clicking weekly then uh, payment will be done on weekly basis but here you will have to read this weekly net 7 hold 4 you receive the income for the previous week on thursday of current week similarly if you select monthly then you will have to read this to know when exactly you will receive your money so that's all for this video i will put a link for uh, popular rates in the description if you have not joined it then please join it and uh, if you have a wordpress website then you can start monetizing it if you don't have a wordpress website or any other websites then also you will be able to monetize it through propeller ads so go to my previous videos where i have explained how you can implement propeller ads in blogger sites so once again thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or any comment then leave it in comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new such videos from my channel